And this is the inner symphony of greatness. The epic soundtrack of success. I will not be held hostage. Waiting on people to open the door for me. I will get up and grind. Create my own door and put myself on. Because I am a champion. I am hungry, dedicated, fearless, a warrior of God who believes all things are possible to him that believes. I am disciplined. I am committed. I am dedicated, young, rich, and motivated, completely sold out, all in, 120, committed to fulfilling my God-given destiny. Nothing can stop me because I am blessed and unstoppable. And I don't just say these words out of my mouth. I say them from my spirit, the champion spirit that's on the inside of me. Mediocrity has no place in me. Average is not welcomed here. I am going one place and one place only. I got a one-way ticket from the bottom to the top. And I don't say this for fame. I don't say this for money. I don't say this for validation. I'm doing this for legacy. When I'm dead and gone, they will say, there is a man right there who lived on this earth, who gave it everything he had. Failure is not an option for me. Failure does not exist in my vocabulary. For eight years, I walked the block in a mental prison, searching for answers. Panic attacks, PTSD, fear, and anxiety consumed me. But here's what was really going on. God was molding and shaping me and preparing me for this calling. He was preparing me for the words that I'm saying to you right now. You see, the more we go through the fire, the more refined we become. Now fear and pain had stung me, had inflicted me, had tried to stomp out my destiny. But God is faithful and he did what he promised. For he said to me, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. And you see, I was bold enough to believe that. And when I went around that block for those eight years, every day I got a little bit stronger, a little bit tougher, and a whole lot bolder. And now I am prepared for my calling. And I get behind this mic with no fear to tell you that I am still here. The enemy has not defeated me. He has not destroyed me. He has actually made me. I am a champion. I am a warrior. I am hungry, dedicated, and now I'm fearless. Wrapped with grace to the enemy, I'm dangerous. It's not about goals for me. It's about purpose, legacy. I'm anchored in grace. God still moves. I am a warrior, blessed and unstoppable. When life sucker punches me, I rise. Nothing can stop me. When life hits me with a brick, I rise. Nothing can stop me. And when all hope seems lost, and the world has written me off. Nothing can stop me. Against all odds, still 
shall rise Nothing can stop, I don't care what they say I'm gonna make it one day, you can see it in my eyes Nothing can stop, one inch at a time Up the mountain I climb, cause I won't be denied Nothing can stop, you only get one shot So I'm coming for the spot, I can see it in my mind Nothing can stop, I don't care what they say I'm gonna make it one day, you can see it in my eyes With God all things are possible. My mindset, champion. That's right. My understanding, greatness. Come on. My work ethic, 120 beast mode. Tell them nothing can stop me. My faith is unwavering, steady, and consistent. And that's why the mountains tremble when they see me coming. Trials and tribulations will come and go, but the champion in me will remain. Obstacles scream for mercy. When they see me coming, the enemy runs when he sees me. Cause he knows out of my mouth flows power. Cause all I speak is life. My lips declare the victory. I possess it in my mind. And I claim the promised land with my faith. I don't care what they say, I'ma make it one day You can see it in my eyes Nothing can stop one inch at a time Up the mountain I climb cause I won't be denied Nothing can stop, you only get one shot So I'm coming for the spot, I can see it in my mind Nothing can stop, I don't care what they say I'ma make it one day, you can see it in my eyes Sickness dares not come near me for no plague shall come near thy dwelling. When sickness sees me, he sees a child of the Most High God that moves from glory to glory. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. I'm a spiritual champion, faith warrior. And I dare to believe the promises of God. I dare to dream one-time dreams. And I refuse to accept any other outcome than the one I believe for. All my time, focus, and energy are on today. I seize the moment. I never lease success because I'm too busy out here owning it. I'm just one great exhibition of doing the impossible because I believe in the one God who makes all things possible. Every victory I win, I give God all the glory. God never designed faith to be passive. That's why I'm so aggressive. I stay on the offensive and give the enemy no rest. I'm a spiritual champion, unstoppable. Nothing can stop me. I don't care what they say. I'm gonna make it one day. You can see it in my eyes. Nothing can stop one inch at a time. Up the mountain I climb, cause I won't be denied. Nothing can stop You only get one shot, so I'm coming for the spot. I can see it in my mind. Nothing can stop me. I don't care what they say. I'm gonna make it one day. You can see it in my eyes. I'm on fire for the Lord. Ain't no such thing as a lukewarm Christian around here. We've been playing with the enemy too long, and I'm about to set it off. I got inside information that's about to change the world, and that's that all the promises of God are yes and amen, so I dare to believe. We've been sitting in these church pews too long. We don't go to church, we are the church. It's not a place or a location or a building or a denomination. It's a way of life. At the first sight of the opposition, struggle or trial, or when the enemy shows his face, I will laugh and launch my praise. A joyful noise that will summon all the armies of heaven. And this praise will confuse the enemy. I will shout the name of the Lord. And the walls will come down just like they did at Jericho. I'm confident because I know I've already won this battle in my prayer time. When the world says all hope is lost and that I got long shot odds, I get on stage and introduce my God. Nothing can stop me. I don't care what they say. I'm going to make it one day. You can see it in my eyes. Nothing can stop one inch at a time. Up the mountain I climb because I won't be denied. You only get one shot, so I'm coming for the spot. I can see it in my mind. Nothing can stop. I don't care what they say. I'm gonna make it one day. You can see it in my eyes. And as a champion, 
I refuse to go to sleep until I'm better than I was yesterday. Grind. Blood, sweat, and tears. All in. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. Grind. Charge it to the ground. Blood, sweat, and tears. All in. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. Grind. Charge it to the ground. You can't purchase greatness with Bitcoin. You gotta buy it in sweat. Work. You can't buy that championship with excuses. Your work ethic is your credit score. Blood, sweat, and tears. All in. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. Work. Charge it to the grind. I refuse to be outworked. And just in case you didn't hear me the first time, be smooth. I refuse to be outworked. The track, the court, the field, the weight room, the office. Wherever I go, I dominate my space. See, my goal isn't just to win, it's to make my opponent quit. Where I'm from, the land of the champions, it's fourth and goal every play, every day. The scoreboard doesn't dictate how I play, my standard does 24 7, 365. I'm a champion. You gotta understand. Greatness is not an outcome. It's who you are. It's a lifestyle, a way of life. Legacy. It's not a trophy. It's not an accolade. It's the way you think. Right. It's a standard that you hold yourself to. My weapon is consistency. I can consistently outperform my opponent over and over and over, regardless of the circumstance. I don't take plays off. I don't take days off. Vacations are for losers. For the average, and I'm allergic to average. Average is the plague. I'm a workout warrior. Right. And I only have one level of effort, and that's all in. 120, all out, beast mode. I leave everything I got on the field. Come on. Blood, sweat, and tears. All in. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. Hustle. Charge it to the grind. I understand that success is a long term game. Preach. It's a marathon. To see who can last the longest And you best believe When it's all over I will be the last one standing My mind is wired for victory My mindset makes me unstoppable Quitting doesn't exist Failure doesn't exist I refuse to accept anything But absolute victory I bought greatness on the practice court So on game day my seat and best believe I'm gonna get what I paid for I will not be denied what's mine for a champion greatness doesn't just apply to sports it's life in my relationships I win just like I do on the field in business I win just like I do on the field in my spiritual life I win just like I do on the field in my finances I win just like I do on the field. And when I hit the classroom, grind. I hit them books like I hit them weights. Mediocrity is too dangerous, too deadly, too contagious to let it exist in any area of your life. You make a mistake when you think you can contain it to one area. It will bleed over into every area of your life until it controls you, till it dominates you. So when you see mediocrity, grind. You stomp it out, Fine. you destroy it on the spot, you give it no place in your life. Make every area of your life congruent with being a champion. Champions don't need to run trick plays, they beat you all day with the basics. Blood, sweat, and tears, all in. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. Grind. Charge it to the ground. Blood, sweat, and tears, all in. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. Grind. Charge it to the ground. A lot of you out there got seven figure appetites, but you got three figure work ethics. Preach. You want the Aston Martin, the Lamborghini, the Bugatti, the G6, that beachfront 30 room mansion, but you don't want to put in the grind that it takes to get it. You want to put your game in the microwave and in one or two minutes be Steph Curry, but that ain't the way it works. Greatness is still old school. You gotta put it in the iron oven. It's gotta go through the fire. 
until it's purified, until it's pure perfection, 100% raw. Blood, sweat, and tears. All in. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. Right. Charge it to the ground. Blood, sweat, and tears. All in. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. Right. Charge it to the ground. 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 Blood, sweat, and tears. All in. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. Right. Charge it to the ground. Champions don't need to run trick plays. They beat you all day with the basics. Let's close out with the word. Proverbs 22, 29. Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. I'm Billy Osbrooks. Blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. If you were on trial today for the charge of wanting to be successful, would a jury of 12, without a shadow of a doubt, be able to convict you? Your work ethic is your transportation. And my question for you today is, where is your vehicle taking you? Your daily routine must be structured in a way that it becomes a weapon for your success. I challenge you in your field to dissect and study the legends. If you want to be great, you got to know what greatness looks like. If you want to be the best, there's a lot of things in your life right now that you're going to have to get rid of. You got to put your mind, your body, and your spirit in an environment conducive for success. You hear us all day as teachers saying you got to work hard if you want to be successful. But there's another element to it. You got to be working hard and doing the right things. You can practice all day, but if you're practicing it the wrong way, you're not going to get to where you want to go. Talent wins games. Consistency wins championships. Don't let complacency steal greatness from you. Average people have a hard time wrapping their mind around greatness. In turn, it's hard for a champion to have a conversation with them. Decisions ignite the explosion of change. So you gotta make a decision. Do you wanna be great or not? Because what that requires is you burning the boats. See, you got a backup plan right now, and that's your problem. The people you going up against, they don't got a plan B. It's all or nothing for them. They ain't taking days off. They going all in. 120 be smoked all in, nothing less. 120 be smoked all in, nothing less. 120 be smoked all in, nothing less. Winners and champions, I run with the best. 120 be smoked all in, nothing less. 120 be smoked all in, nothing less. 120 be smoked all in, nothing less. Winners and champions, I run with the best. To reach beast mode, you need four things. Number one, you need a why so strong that no excuse or obstacle can stand in its way. Number two, you got to put in place an inner standard that won't accept anything but absolute greatness. Number three, you got to have a level of faith that allows God to shore up any lack of talent or weaknesses that you might have. Number four, you got to have a layers of focus that gives birth to unwavering consistency. This will allow you to perform at the highest level at all times. Now, many of you are trying to become millionaires on a middle class why? You can't go to the next level on the same level why? Now let me give you a quote from Ayn Rand. The question isn't who is gonna let me, it's who is going to stop me. Now that's beast mode. I'd rather partner with somebody like that who's got a high school degree going all in than to partner with somebody from Harvard who's got a PhD that's half stepping, that's tiptoeing. Christopher Columbus said, you can never cross the ocean until you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. Going all in is faith displayed in action. Whatever it is that you want to accomplish has a wide level required to bring it about. Many of you are half-stepping because you doubt your own talent and ability. Now the way to fix that is to shift your trust off yourself and on to God and his ability to make it happen. When you put your trust in the right place, all the hesitation you got will dissolve. If you're gonna make a mistake, make it full speed. The question isn't who is gonna let me. 
is who's gonna stop me? You see, champions are just average, everyday people who decided to put it on the line and go all in. You can't purchase greatness with lip service. You keep going around telling everybody you want to be successful, but nobody's taking you seriously because your work ethic is discrediting you. It's your grind, your work ethic that determines the future that you qualify for. You keep showing up on game day trying to pay for greatness with nothing in your bank account. That's why you keep getting them overdraft charges, saying insufficient work ethic. Pick up the mic and tell the world one time what you're going to do. and tears are your public relations team. They set the talking points that articulate your agenda. Stop embarrassing yourself and the team. Either commit to putting in the work or do something else. You gotta put in place the work habits for where you're going before you ever get there. You can't wait until your senior year to start practicing like you wanna be D1. You can't wait till your final year in college to start practicing like you wanna be a lotto pick. Now maybe nobody ever told you this, but you should've started that work Your competition's out there right now, grinding. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. All day, every day, all of greatness. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. All day, every day, all of greatness. Greatness is the fruit. Of a champion's inner standard. Now let me clarify and define what inner standard is. It's the level of accountability that you hold yourself to when no one else is looking. That standard dictates how comfortable you are around average. Now many of you out there are saying that you are loyal and married to success. But the truth is. to greatness and stay loyal to your dream at 5 a.m when that alarm goes off you got a decision either to get up and hit the gym or hit the snooze button choose greatness a champion standard not their emotions not their feelings dictates what they do at five in the morning it's not whether they feel like getting up or not it's the standard of greatness that demands it it's the standard that dictates the culture of a person organization. No leader, no CEO, no coach can get winning results consistently unless they put a standard of greatness in place. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. All day, every day, all of greatness. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. Success is a marathon of consistency walked out one day at a time. Champions practice doing the right things the right way over and over till they forget how to ever do it wrong. The greats, the legends, they can perform consistently at the highest level regardless of the circumstances. Running a fever with the flu, still hitting threes. On the road in a hostile environment, still hitting threes. Scandals in the news, everybody's spreading rumors, still hitting threes. That's consistency. Greats, they don't need to run trick plays. They'll line up all day and beat you with the basics. The great teams can line up and say, I'm going to take my running back and I'm going to run him off left tackle. And I'm going to do it 40 times in the game. And there's nothing you can do about it. We practice the basics so many times we can beat you all day with it. Discipline is the fruit of consistent focus. Now champions, winners, they stay focused. No matter what's going on around them, they know what they want, why they want, and they coming to get it. Greatness requires a conducive environment to create it, unleash it, and sustain it. The reason champions thrive is they plant themselves in fertile soil and refuse to move from it. Focus, discipline, grind, champion. Focus, discipline, grind. Yes.
Now let's close out with the word. A slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. That's Proverbs 10, 4. As a believer, everything we do should honor the God we serve. So good is not good enough. We have greatness in us because greatness made us. Our grind, our work ethic is part of our ministry. I'm Billy Osbrooks, blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. Blessed and unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. And my new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. From living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. New doors of opportunity will open and favor will begin to chase you down. Blessed and Unstoppable is a 31-day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Blessed and Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at blessedandunstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon.